Welcome to the Freightliner ARI 156 inch sleeper. What a truck this is. Beautiful. This is so nice. Beautiful. Where do you begin? I, I don't know. I mean, I think you begin with the bathroom. The first thing I see is the control panel here. Yes. You got your rooftop AC, your magic fan. I don't know because I'm not familiar with this truck so far. So there. this is a holding tank. Oh. Uh, and your batteries. Okay. So one thing does both, and I don't remember how. Oh, it's so, okay. So here's your fresh water, uh, which right. is empty. Yeah. And then they have another one also empty, and then you have a battery which is full. Oh, cool. So That's real cool, cool thing. I like they branded it. Yeah. Um, and it's made in the USA. It's a American-made nice. part. You got your rope lights here. Rope light. Which are actually over this. here. You can't see them at this point. Yep. Uh, and then the bathroom lights. And what's inside so here? This button, and hopefully we know. There's your bathroom, shower, toilet. I tell you what I like about Air Eyes showers is they put in bath hooks for towels to dry. Yeah. And they also put that cool that soap, soap dispenser. shampoo, That's really conditioner cool. dispenser. Yeah. yeah. And there's a window in here too, which is nice, believe it or not. Um, our first bathroom truck had a had a window, and the second one didn't, and I missed it. I kind of missed it. I can around. see that. I also like that ARI does this up here at the very top. A little ventilation. Uh, with, uh, the door is, uh, or the wall is, does not go all the way to the ceiling. Right. So that all that steam. Yep. Yeah, I know you don't want it. You don't want it venting back in your sleeper, but what that does is it enables that. Um, it gets sucked to your air conditioner and then goes out the drain lines or it gets pulled out of the magic fan. And you also and have a magic fan inside the, the shower as well. Yes, but it keeps so that, it keeps that, that well. uh, mold. It, it dries it out really good. It dries good. it out fast. Yeah. So it keeps mold from forming or anything like that. It's, it's, really mildew. Nice. it's very well thought out. It's really nice. Um, so if we keep going along the wall, you'll see uh, they, give, they build in their microwaves. It looks super nice. Um, zest. Uh, I hear they also make... Um, soap. Soap. They make a yeah. nice soap. So yeah. Soap and yeah. the microwaves. I, I can see how that makes sense. It, it kind of doesn't. Um, little storage up here. Uh, oh, wow. Actually, a lot of storage up there. Uh, that's an attic space. I like so. though, the way their 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 um, hinges their, are. Hinges, their, where their cabinets catch. Yes. You know, it's it's an actual friction catch and not that push button thing that Bolt does. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. these latches are these notches are catching the and latches. And then it stays here. open too. You don't have to worry about falling back, back on you. Back on you. Yeah. yeah. It's that's very really nice. It's very very nice. I like the fridge too. So at first I didn't like these fridges. This is a, a 120 volt fridge which means your power inverter has to be on for it to run or your generator okay. or plugged into shore power. It does not run off the truck batteries regularly. Um, and I didn't like this at first, but you know, the power inverter they're using in here is really good one. So now I, I've, I've warmed up to them because the inverters they are using these trucks are so much better um, than what other companies are using and it's super reliable. And also these refrigerators, hey, they last a pretty good amount of time, but when they when they fail on you, it's 400 bucks to replace it. Really, only 400 bucks to replace As it? As opposed to a Norcold or a Dometic that it's is- custom made for an RV. It's custom made for an RV. Those are two $2,500 to replace. So you, this thing can fail a lot. Yeah. And you still Before become you up that price. less money. And it's, it's residential, it's got a big freezer on it. Um, it's got a big fridge. And you know, before you ask like, well, okay, what do you do? How do you keep, because the RV ones have latches on them. What do you do to keep these things from actually flying open when you're driving down the road? Well, they've actually thought that through. They have these little metal catch right here. Oh, that's cool. And then, yeah. you, worst case, and this is me pulling out hard. Sure. It'll go that far. It might but in reality, open, if you, like I'm wiggling right now, it's not moving. Yeah. And then it's got the handle here and here. So it's like, it's, it's just a nice touch. Well, the question and, that comes to my mind is how are they, Reliability wise, bouncing down the road versus the Norcolds, which are Don't have theoretically designed to take that shock. Yes. Well, again, these have this sleeper A rides really, really soft and plush. Okay. It's it, it's on a lot, it, it's a heavy sleeper and it's on a lot of airbags. So, and it's not attached to the cab. So, it is its own floating suspension. So, this, this does ride very smooth. But um, the feedback that I've gotten so far is that these actually hold up really really well good. It's good so to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that and i love the way that ari uh, frames out this opening um with this wood right here it does make it look uh quite nice very snazzy. it is quite nice um so then we come over here big huge uh double wardrobe 
it's got the carpet lining on the sides and it's hard to see you may have to bring the camera over here it's actually got cedar lined on the bottom so you have that cedar lining um, extra level of protection you also have some uh, fighter brochures that come with it no that's a joke uh, <laughs> And uh, hanging up there, I do know I've seen some people that don't use the hanging space. They put shelves in here as well or different storage options. Um, but you have a nice big closet. And, of course, uh, down here it has the pull-out drawers. Ooh. And if you can look behind there, you actually have your one of your water tanks. And the nice thing about this is that water tank is inside of the sleeper and it's fully insulated. So it's going to stay warm. So it's going to stay warm in, in, in the middle oh, of winter. You don't have to worry yeah. about it freezing. Whereas yeah. um, when you put those either outside the truck, which not a lot of companies do anymore. Um, or outside the insulation or out, barrier exactly. of the sleeper itself. Or even in the storage compartment where you have a door there sure. that's not as well insulated as that wall is. It can get a little tricky. Yeah. Um, I don't think Buttermilk saw that. She, she would love that. Yeah, it's a very nice feature. So... This is a 156. On, on our trucks, we have an order that are 144 inches. Right here, we lose this section. So ours would just be a single closet. Right. Still pretty big, and it would be double the height. Sure. Because we are going that, I don't believe they have the, uh, the water drawers. tank here. Okay. So it is um, going to be a double closet stacked. But still insulated. Still insulated, okay. absolutely, yes. Right. Um, you'll see they have around here is a black uh, electric heater. They, again, because you're running the inverter, because you have the residential fridge, there's not the incentive to have that diesel-fired heater anymore. Sure. Um, so they are using the electric heater. Now, on our 144s, we're getting both. We will have both the electric and, and the diesel-fired diesel heater. So a little bit of redundancy, just in case. Um, and then before we get here, let's, let's work our way on the, uh, on the other side. So over here, we have the television. It's pretty big. It's bigger than what we put in our most of our trucks. It's probably, what, 32 or a... Probably 32, 32 it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's really nice because you got this little station here. You can put uh, like what I would do. I'll probably is like glue a basket or not glue a basket, but like, like um, velcro, velcro a basket, basket down yeah. here or something like that to catch keys and things like that. Because yeah. you do have this nice little storage area here um, that you can put things. And you've got right here is your little side compartment for your electronics. So you're not having to put a DVD player or, or, or a oh, satellite, dish. satellite dish receiver, receiver. here. It all goes here. Um, so you do have this nice little section. Um, which makes it feel a little like home. It just it has does. that little bit of like, yeah, you know, at home I would have a little. Drop your stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And um, above it, you've got cabinets. But the really cool thing is, and and it's kind of a secret is, this actually opens up not very far. But Jerry, I don't know if you can get back here and see this. Um, it's got a little. It's not a safe, but it's a little private space, it's right? A little, it's a little space I like to call Smuggler's Cove. Oh. Okay. We don't recommend smuggling anything. We do not recommend smuggling a damn thing. But, but it is it is a nice little space. They did finish it out, so you can if you have some valuables. Like if I go on the road and and we decide, hey, we're gonna go get a, a hotel, I might drop my my iPad in there, so that if someone were sure. to get inside of my truck, they're probably not gonna think to pull this out because it nothing about it says says this is a storage there. space. Yeah. Um, a nice thing too, you mentioned dropping your keys here. You got two USB ports here as well. Great place. So you walk in, put your phone there, and it's, it's good to go yeah. while it's charging or something. Or for me, I put my watch your there. Watch, yeah. Um, if yeah. you have an Apple Watch, you know, like I do, that if you set it on your nightstand and you get up in the middle of the night and just lightly touch your nightstand, it, it lights up, yeah. right? Right. I, so I like so keeping my watch there, away from me. Yeah. So this would be a great place for that. And then you got another little compartment space here. This one does have a. Uh, uh, shelves in it and they're on adjustable tracks so you can customize that it's also cedar lined i wonder if does that have it does not have a rod but it is cedar lined mm -hmm. so you can put clothes storage yeah. or what have you in there interesting thing here is this piece here actually uh, latches there and it makes sure it yes. covers your stairs yes. yes so you've got now more workspace if you wanted to work over here or your partner's doing something over here in the kitchen you want to talk to them and let's Probably if you're shorter, yeah. it'd be a little nicer. But you well, you know that. what? You know what I've seen a lot of people do too is they get these trucks, they love the side door, and they realize they don't ever use it. Some people just don't, and so this floor just goes down all the time. And now they have a place to put their hamper or their garbage can or something like that right, right here. You um, also get some extra countertop space here. Yep, which is nice. Absolutely. This. If you factor that in, I mean, there's a little gap here because this countertop's sure. not as big. But if you factor this in, this is a huge kitchen. It's a huge kitchen. I mean, I know this is kind of like hiding. Um, You've got lots of prep and storage this space This is here. tons of space. Right. 
And I love too, so this is a, this is not a solid surface top. This is a more traditional um, Formica top. But look at how they do the inset on the sink. They run that lip perfectly up. Like this is just absolutely perfect craftsmanship. And this right here shows off how good ARI is with their craftsmanship. They're able to countersink this uh, in here and have it be perfectly flush and, and it's just it's just beautiful craftsmanship and then you get your uh cutting board this is a cutting board material cutting board uh topper and it's uh it's very very nice they also do this nice tile work on the back walls and, and the windows aren't just on there they actually have this nice wood frame they also put these th this particular track has a as a uh, sound bar and a medicine cabinet um I, or not a, a spice lot. rack or spice rack, spice not, rack too. not a whole lot you can do with that but it is something um, oh, you know what? I said that was for your electronics. Your your electronic satellites. I just realized this is actually up here. This is what that's for. So this does have your satellite in it. It has your Blu-ray player. Plenty of room for a PlayStation or anything sure. else you want. Right here is the, the switch for the satellite, the rooftop satellite. It's in motion. So when you're driving down the road, uh, the person that's back in the sleeper can watch uh, television as well. And they do a really great job with these light nice warm plenty park of light lights. underneath here you're not trying to find a light a, a lit space to work yes tons of light underneath and that has here. been a problem in some of our other trucks we get a hot spot yep um and then there's just plenty of of cabinet, cabinet storage it's ridiculous. just un just unbelievable ridiculous. how much space there is and this goes all the way through oh no it doesn't there is a wall there there's it's a false, it wall, a false wall so it so only it goes up out. a little bit yeah but um which it, helps it's still a huge storage space yeah and i actually like that it's compartmentalized like that because when you, if you're gonna use this for food storage, you're gonna have cans and things like that in there. Sure. If that starts rolling, you don't want that you rolling want that all over down. the place. No, that no, really that wall don't. does keep it. You really don't. Pretty, uh, pretty is secure. It a, is it an option to get like a light inside one of those? Because it's pretty dark. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Tyler that. I think he probably could. Um, I just don't know off the top of my head. The so then that brings us down here. Uh, you do have the induction cooktop, which at this point is pretty standard on most trucks. With most most brands of custom sleepers, will do an induction cooktop. Most people don't want the hot plate anymore because within a couple minutes of you using this thing, it goes cold, which is nice. You don't have to worry about burning yourself or setting anything on here, especially when you have such limited space. Um, so you got another cabinet here. Again, this has pull-out drawers. This drawer is huge, by the way. Um, which is it's nice and deep. It's yeah. nice and deep. And the fact that it comes out this far is great too, because I know a lot of these, like it's a deep counter. You could lose stuff way back there and never find it. This just makes it very easy to- yeah, We'll find it when we're cleaning the truck. But. Get everything, yeah. And then of course, just regular drawers But again, here. they're very deep as well. And then right down here is gonna be your water heater. So down here at the bottom is water heater. And then uh, your electrical plumbing, or your, I'm sorry, your plumbing for the sink and such. And then above here, you have another storage space. And as you see, that's pretty unrestricted. So I can see a lot of cleaning supplies and things like that going down here. Um, and then you've got, and you also have a, uh, a towel holder. That's actually kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, so if you have a little, like a wet towel yeah. that you're wanting to just air dry out, and and set it right there. Or even a dish mat. A, uh, yeah, drying a, mat. Dry mat can go yeah. right there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So you do have like your ceiling lights here. They're on a dimmer. Oh, that's cool. so you can you can really work with that. Um, this right here is your air conditioner. I'm sorry. This is your generator for your own end. Um, it's got a water heater, a block heater, water pump. It says sink. Hmm. I don't know what that's for. So for a sink light, maybe I don't know. I didn't do anything. I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, so grab handle step light entry. Entry is going to be for um, the yeah. electric step, I believe. Or is that for the... No, I think it's for the lights down oh, here. You do have lights. Oh, no, yeah, there it is. Oh, it's over ceiling here. light. Okay. Overhead lights. And then the grab handle yeah. on the outside of this truck, there's a grab handle that lights up. And I'm not Actually, sure... Actually, hit that grab handle light for me, Patrick. It's the grab handle right here. It is? Yeah. I think there's one outside too, there's, isn't there? I think there is. Yeah, I think there's two of them. Um, and then this little knob here, this is your um, fan speed for when the truck's going down the road and you want an air conditioner. You can turn that high, medium, or low. So, really cool little setup. It's got a couple of vents here. I believe this is also for when you're going down the road. Um, not positive, but I believe that's what that's for. So I'm gonna show this this bit, this bed area, this dinette set area. And I saw this little angle here. I was like, why is that angle there? And then I tried to sit down and I realized and real quick, exactly what, what that angle's for. Yeah. But again, this this is a, a laminate top. It's not a formica top. It's not solid surface, but it's extremely well made. Um, you're not gonna rub and peel that off. Right. 
a couple cup holders here, which is nice. Um, over there next to Vince, they've got the uh, Twin Air. So the Twin Air on top, that's that big panel, that's gonna be your air conditioner where you're going down the road. So you don't have the generator on, but you're able to cool and heat the sleeper. And then right below it, you've got uh, some more lighting. So we got decor lights and we've got dinette set lights also on a dimmer. And then there is another. Oh, so the next one is actually the control for the bed, which is unique. And that's one thing I wanted to show off. This particular truck has an upper bunk. So this upper bunk um, comes down on these rails. There's four rails and you've got a pretty large bunk here that just comes straight down. And so you can sleep someone on this on the dinette set and you can sleep up here or some people even um, just use the bunk to sleep on and or what have you um, or, or for storage or whatever. It's a really cool thing. They have a couple like right behind Vince. Uh, when the bed is down, there's a cubby hole there, and it's got an outlet with some USB plugs, so storage in that upper bunk can um, have some power. Have some power yeah. for charge a phone or some Apple Watch. Storage or there as well. Oh, there is a covered Up storage. Yeah. And then this bed is a, I believe it's a 48 by 75 bed as well. It's a true full size bed. Is it true 54 full size? Inches. Okay. I asked that question yesterday. So yeah. it's a true. Oh yeah, okay, true full size. And of course, it's got the net for safety. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very well laid out sleeper. It is. I mean, it's, it truly it's is. very large. You can easily, if you go, if you buy something like this, or if you go drive for a fleet owner that owns a truck like this, you're staying out for two or three months. Oh yeah, easy. Going home for a couple of weeks and back if out you're again. Home. If, if, if you're the going home. Not home. Yeah. Can I point out one thing that you didn't mention that I thought you would? Oh, and it's what I mentioned the other yes, day? Yes, Yes, go for it. It is. Jerry, we need you over here for this one. It's the clothes hamper. This is so cool. Look how deep that is in there. Big deep. Uh, I mean, that's going to hold easily a week of clothes. Yes, easily. that's exactly. So ARI does that on all their trucks. It's not like an option, and I really think it's cool. So you're able to, what I would do is literally put one of those blue clothes hamper bags in Yeah, it. in there. And I would put four hooks to hook yep. it in, and then I would just have that big clothes hamper. that bag and go. Because one thing you'll find out with these trucks when you get out on the road is things like trash. Where do I put my trash can? Yeah. And where do I keep my dirty clothes? Yep. That's a challenge. You it's have challenge. to figure that out. It's, it's not it, the uh, most of the sleeper companies don't take that really into account because they're trying to give you as much storage as possible. That kind of stuff kind of goes by the wayside That's, a little bit. Storage is great, but if it's not convenient storage, useful storage, yes, then it's 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 difficult because you have to do other things like you mentioned, adding hooks. Yeah, we have the big space here, which is great. I appreciate that. Adding hooks, no big deal. Yeah, we can take care of that. Yeah, super uh, so, easy. Yeah, it, it's super easy, but. Uh, if you don't have storage that's useful for you, then you're trying to figure out ways and spending more money to, to make it useful for you. Yeah. So. Now, and on the trucks that we order with these, they do not have the upper... Um, upper bunk. Upper bunk. So instead, you would actually just have a, a, a row surrounding this Even area more storage. Of, of cabinets overhead. And... Uh, I can't wait to see those trucks. I can't wait till they roll off I'm either. I'm so looking forward to you it. You know. And, and this is a 156. Those are 144. A foot, you're not going to really be able Again, to tell. The bed, the bed is going to start here, Correct. roughly, versus where we're at now. So yes. that, that kind of shows you how much less space is in that other truck. But um, you, you still, you, 144, you're, you're not going to you're not going to miss the extra 12 inches. Really. Absolutely, you truly it's, aren't. It's a lot of space, and uh, they're well-built sleepers. A couple things they do that annoy me. I don't want to completely say they're great. The couple things they do annoy me is on their vinyl, they have all these little uh, button yeah button stops. Um, you can see it on the corner of the, of the uh, bathroom. You see it all over the face here, all underneath here. It is nice that they hide that work, and it and it does um, hide some of the, the the metal, so you don't see that. But I wish it was more. They I wish they could do it in a way that didn't have all these sure. button stops. That's being super picky. It I mean, is it's being ridiculously picky, but that's one thing I, I'm not crazy about. I do love they put the hooks everywhere. You even got drying towel hooks over right here outside, outside the, the sleeper that yeah. we don't think if we showed or not. So, and then the the floor, it looks wood. This is actually a vinyl. I say that. Yeah, this is, a, is vinyl. a vinyl. So, it's a beautiful vinyl. It's a very high end vinyl. So, if you get it wet, it's not going to swell. You're not going to have anything to worry about. Just dry it up, and you'll be good to go. If you know, you spill something on here, you can bleach this, no issues. Um, again, it's very well thought out. It looks great and it's super durable. Um, and super functional. It's super functional. I'm, I'm very excited yeah. 
to get these as well. And, I, you know, I'm not an ARI purist. We still own a lot of bolts. We're buying a lot more bolts. I do love them as well. Uh, they each have their pros and cons. They do. Um, I look forward to doing the video when the bolt comes out. Yes, um, definitely. It's going to be a really unique floor plan. Uh, and so when that time comes, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. But, uh, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Um, hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you enjoyed the tour. I know we're not the normal tour guides, but it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. And until next time, stay safe. Don't leave money on the table. And as Jerry would say, keep those wheels a turning. <laughs>